We have uh, known for some time that school leadership and management are critical for improving teaching and learning. One idea, one approach that has uh, got a lot of attention over the past um, 10 years or so is what people refer to as distributed leadership, or what I prefer to call taking a distributed perspective to school leadership and management. When I travel around the world uh, and listen to people talk about distributed leadership, I'm often dismayed and indeed disturbed uh, by what uh, people often count as distributed leadership. Indeed, uh, I encounter three myths regularly. First is that taking a distributed perspective or distributed leadership somehow negates or undermines the role of the school principal. In all of my work, uh, research in uh, several different states and schools in the U.S., I have found no evidence that taking a distributed perspective undermines undercuts the role of the school principal. Indeed, in all of our work, the school principal remains a central and key player. A second myth that I often encounter is that everyone is a leader. I hear that mantra a lot. Again, I know of no evidence to support that. Not everyone in a school, in a school organization, is a leader are indeed wants to be a leader. A third myth, very popular when I listen to people talk about distributed leadership, is that the more leaders, the better. Wrong. There is no evidence to support that more leaders, the better the outcomes, the more effective the leadership. Indeed, the work in a lot of fields, such as social psychology or team dynamics, would suggest quite the contrary, that beyond a certain number of leaders, you get diminishing 